All right, hi everyone. We're gonna be talking about network intrusion detection and prevention. An intrusion detection system, IDS, can detect an attack as it occurs. An inline IDS is connected directly to the network and monitors the flow of the data as it occurs. A passive IDS is connected to a port on a, on a switch, which receives a copy of network traffic. <sighs> So basically inline versus passive. Uh, IDS systems can use different methodologies for monitoring for attacks. In addition, IDS can be installed on either local hosts or networks. Monitoring methodologies. Monitoring involves examining, examining network traffic, activities, transactions, or behavior to detect, detect security related anomalies. There are four monitoring methodologies, uh, methodologies. anomaly based monitoring, signature based monitoring, behavior based monitoring, and uh, heuristic monitoring. monitoring. Uh, anomaly monitoring is designed for detecting statistical anomalies. I can't say this word. Hold up. We're going to figure this out together right now. Anomaly. 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 All right. So, anomaly monitoring is, uh, is designed for detecting statistical anomalies. First, a baseline of normal activities is compiled over time. A baseline is, re is a reference set of data against which operational data, uh, operational data is compared. Whenever there is a significant deviation from this baseline, an alarm is raised. An advantage of this approach is that it can detect the anomalies quickly without trying to first understand the underlying cause. However, normal behavior can change easily and even quickly, so anomaly-based monitoring is subject to false positives or alarms that are raised when there is no actual abnormal behavior. False, uh, a false negative is a failure to raise an alarm when there is an abnormal behavior. In addition, anomaly-based monitoring can impose heavy processing loads on the system where they are being used. Finally, because anomaly-based monitoring takes time to create statistical baselines, it can fail to detect events before the baseline is completed. A second method for auditing usage is to examine network traffic, activity, transactions, or behavior and look for well-known patterns, much like antivirus scanning. This is known as signature-based monitoring because it compares to activities against predefined signatures. Signature-based monitoring requires access to an updated database of signatures along with a means to actively compare and match current behavior against a collection of signatures. One of the weaknesses of signature-based monitoring is that the signature databases must be constantly updated, and as the number of signatures grows, the behaviors must be compared against an increasingly large number of signatures. Also, the signature definitions are too specific. Signature-based monitoring can miss variations. Behavior monitoring attempts to overcome the limitations of both anomal an, uh, anomaly based monitoring and signature based monitoring by being adaptive and proactive instead of reactive. Rather than using statistics or signatures as the standard by which compa um, comparisons are made, behavior based monitoring uses the normal process and action as the standard. Behavior-based monitoring con uh, continuously analyzes the behavior of the processes and programs on a system and alerts the user if it detects any abnormal actions, at which, the point, uh, at which point the user can decide whether to allow or block the activity. One of the advantages of base behavior monitor monitoring is that it is not necessary to update signature files or compile a baseline of statistical behavior before monitoring can take place. In addition, behavior-based monitoring can make quickly uh, can more quickly stop new attacks. 
The final method takes a completely different approach and does not try to compare actions against previously determined standards like anomaly based monitoring and signature based monitoring or behavior based monitoring. Instead, it is found on experience based techniques known as heuristic monitoring. It attempts to answer the question, will this do something harmful if it is allowed to execute? Her um, heuristic from the Greek word to f uh, for find or discover monitoring uses an algorithm to determine if a threat exists. So there's two basic types of IDSs. A host-based intrusion detection system which is HIDS is a software based application that runs on a local host computer that can detect an attack as it occurs. A uh, host intrusion detection system is installed on each system such as a server or a desktop that needs to be protected. A host intrusion detection system relies on agents installed directly on the system being protected. These agents work closely with the operating system monitoring and accepting requests in order to prevent attacks. Host space intrusion detection systems typically monitor the following desktop functions. System calls. Each operation in the computing environment starts with a system call. A system call is an instruction that interrupts the program being executed and requests a service from the operating system. Host intrusion detection systems can monitor system calls based on the process, mode, and action being requested. File system access. System calls usually require specific files to be open to access data. A host intrusion detection system works to ensure that all file openings are based on legitimate needs and are not the result of malicious activity. System registry settings. The Windows registry maintains configurations information about programs and the computer. The host intrusion detection system can recognize unauthorized modification of the registry. Host input and output. Host intrusion detection systems monitor all input and output communications to watch for malicious activity. For an example, if the system never uses instant message and suddenly a threat attempts to open an IM connection from the system, the host intrusion detection system would detect this as a anon uh, anomalous activity. So note that host intrusion detection systems are designed to integrate with existing antiviruses, anti-spywares, and firewalls that are installed on a local host. So this is integration, okay? However, there are disadvantages to a host, intru um, host intrusion detection system. It can monitor any network traffic. It cannot monitor any network traffic traffic that does not reach the local system. Any data that it accumulates is stored locally and not in a single central repository. And host intrusion detection systems tend to be resource intensive and can slow down the system. Just as a software based host intrusion detection system monitors attack on a local system, a network intrusion detection system watches for attacks on a network. As a network traffic as network traffic moves through the network, network intrusion detection system sensors usually installed on network devices such as firewalls and routers gather information and report back to a central device. A network intrusion detection system may use one or more evaluation techniques. So I'm going to I'm going to stop that recording right there. Um, I know that there's a lot of information about, um, you know, registries and and uh, host based intrusion detection systems and and different type of monitoring uh, techniques and, and about behavior monitoring, heuristic monitoring, uh, signature based monitoring. I mean, that, that's a lot of information right there for you. Um, I hope you enjoy that information. Um, if you have any questions, please do. Please feel free to contact me. Please do like, subscribe, comment, share, and donate uh, to my YouTube channel. Um, this does cost me time. 
which does cost me money so um, please do help me um, provide more of this content for you uh, and if you need any IT support or security please do uh, please feel free to contact me um, I do have my Facebook there I do have my Instagram uh, I do have um, other I do have my webpage which is deterrent.com um, so if you need any help with IT support um, or IT security um, if you need some tutoring uh, just uh, IT tutoring um, just please do contact me I will be available um, a lot I, I sit in front of my computer 10 to 15 hours a day normally so I'll be here assisting you whenever that uh, whenever you need me so thank you for watching and I'll be bringing you more videos I think the next video um, I'm gonna continue to talk about um, network intrusion systems and and prevention systems intrusion prevention systems and um, go dive dive deeper into the subject. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, have a wonderful day.